Like school, e-learning. This question is called a campus task, which means it is something that is happening on campus at a university, at a typical American university. Um, and this question is formatted in a very specific way. First, there is um, something you have to read. Often it is an announcement or a newspaper article or a, an opinion piece uh, for a newspaper, etc. Um, so you have to read that and figure out what it's saying. And then after you read that, you have 45 seconds to read that, you listen to a conversation. And the conversation are two students mo most of the time. It's two students or it's one student and one administrator or teacher. Um, and they're talking about this announcement or the reading passage. And you have to relate the two. You have to use both of the reading passage and the listening passage together. And this campus task is formatted um, with an announcement from the university and then a conversation and about that announcement. And we have to figure out what the woman's opinion is. And it's very clear what her opinion is. Um, but then we have to tell why she believes that. Um, so first, we need to tell us, uh, tell the speaker, or to, excuse me, tell the listener what the announcement says. And the announcement says in red, Old University, that's the name of the university, Old University, um, is announcing it is providing a leadership class, um, a class on teaching people how to become leaders. You know, there's many people who would benefit from learning how to be a leader. Um, and a visiting professor is teaching this class. It's not a professor that um, normally teaches at the university. Often universities will have professors teach for one semester or one year, and then they'll go somewhere else. Uh, these professors usually are not from the same city that the university is in, and often from abroad. Uh, you know, you can host a, a professor from Japan or China or Venezuela or something if you want them to teach a course at your university. So this uh, visiting professor is teaching this class. And this class is meant for business majors um, who will demonstrate leadership. So there's a very specific person that this, uh, who can apply to this class. You have to be a business major. So you're learning how businesses work, how to manage um, economics, things like that. Um, and then you have to have demonstrated leadership in the past. Uh, you could have been uh, the captain of your sports team, or you could have been the class president, or sat on student council, or, you know, led an organization of some sorts. Any way where you were in a position where you were uh, authority in some way. Um, so that's what the announcement is saying. Um, and then when the woman starts talking, and she strongly believes that she, it is unfair to only allow business majors to apply. She's excited by the idea. She wants this uh, class to happen, but it should be open to all majors. It is unfair to only allow business majors to apply. And she has three reasons why she thinks so. First, BM, business majors, get all the perks. Now, a perk is sort of a, a benefit or a good thing that comes from doing something. You know, one of the perks of me moving to Korea and teach all of you is that I get to live in a country that I've never been before and experience something new. Um, or if you, you know, have a job, a certain job, and you get to a certain level, so maybe that co uh, company you work for will give you a car. It's a company car. You don't own it, but you are free to drive it. Or you get a free air tickets. You know, you can fly anywhere for free or something like that. If you're a, a pilot, often you can get free air tickets uh, anywhere in the world. So those are perks. Those are benefits that come with doing your job or, or being who you are, <laughs> doing a certain thing. And the perks that the business majors get are they have better funding. Their department gets more money from the university to do things. Um, they have better facilities. You know, they have better classrooms and better technology in their classrooms. Um, and they have a larger section in the library. Uh, as you know, libraries are divided, as I'm sure you know, by section. And the business section is bigger than anywhere else in the library. So they, have all, they already have a lot of benefits. They don't need another one. 
And then the man she's talking to adds, I put it in yellow because it's separate. You have to keep in mind that she didn't say this, somebody else did. The man adds that the English building is over 100 years old. It's a very old building, and there's no heat. Um, so in the winter, it gets very cold, whereas the business majors, I'm sure part of their facilities are an air conditioner and a heater, so they can study in, at a nice temperature all year round. But the English department has a very bad building. It's a very old building. Um, also, so she continues, and she says, Here's my transition word, and everyone pays the same tuition to go to that university. You pay the same amount of money no matter what you're studying. Uh, you can study anything you want. Um, so the perks that the business majors receive are unfair because if I was an English major and I wanted to study in a nice building, but I can't because the building I uh, the department is in is bad, but I say pay the same amount of money as the person who gets all of the perks. And that's sort of unfair, obviously. Um, and finally, also, other people would benefit from the class. There are people in all departments who need uh, leadership training skills. And she mentions, especially education majors, people who are learning how to become good teachers. Now, being in front of a classroom, you have to have a certain amount of leadership skills. Uh, you have to make sure the class, class runs smoothly. And she mentions uh, mo many of her teachers in the past had absolutely no leadership skills. So it's important for you know, teachers to learn how to govern uh, or even manage the class. Uh, anybody else who would benefit, politics majors, you know, if you're going to go into office, you're going to be a leader in the community or for the, you know, the country or the world. Um, it's important for them to learn how to be leaders. Um, you know, anybody in activism or anything else where you have to be a, a representative of something, it is important to have training. So therefore, it shouldn't only be the business majors. So those are her opinions, and she supports them by giving examples. So be sure to give the examples, and they're in a direct reaction to, uh, or directly related to, the reading passage that you did for this question. So take a look at my sample response, and you'll see how those all relate to each other.